So Mr. Postman is quite the mysterious game. It was most likely made by Bid Corporation in 1983, but that's debatable, as there are lots of publishers around the world. I mean, just look at all these guys. Oh, look, there's my name. Now let's talk about the main character. Look at him. He kind of looks like this, but the various cover art depicts him like this. What? Like, how do you get a mailman, a bird, and, uh, out of that? The first phase of the game has the little bear dude climb a ladder and try to jump and land on a bird. This is arguably the easiest part of the game. Getting hit by a projectile or falling to your death makes you lose one of your five lives. Oh, and this stage is a time limit, but it's very lenient. Climbing up the ladder is actually very challenging, though, as you have to memorize the pattern in which the projectiles fly at it. Once you land on that bird, though, you're all set for the next phase. The second part of the game takes place in what appears to be Inverted Missile Command. Lightning falls in the sky and birds drop... Uh, ...to attack you. You must clear everything off the stage to move on. Do this three times and you're on to the final phase of each cycle. This is the main phase of the game, I guess. The hit detection with the player's bullets is very off, and you have to get lucky to hit the birds at the top of the screen. Watch this. I did not hit it. It's bullcrap. I did not hit it. I did not. Oh, hi, Robbie. In this final phase of each loop, you have to play a little game of operation and not touch the walls on this butterfly mountain. Land on the house to win the game. As long as not even a single pixel comes in contact with the walls, you should be good. Unfortunately, I don't think I've ever won this part yet. Hashtag sad. One thing I really adore about this game is that the bear makes a song when he walks. Kind of like Dig Dug. Listen.